I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on global learning. The idea here is to understand how different topics in mathematics are dealt with in different parts of the world. I am really thankful to many of my viewers and subscribers for contributing and providing me with the questions which I am working with you now. I will appreciate if you could also share with me some questions which we could share with all others in rest of the world. The question here is based on matrix and we'll see how this application is used in Europe. Now this question has been picked up from Cambridge IGCSE Additional Mathematics June 2017. So it's an international board so many parts of the world will actually be having this question. Okay. So the question here is four cinemas P, Q, R and S each sell adult, student and child tickets. The number of tickets sold by each cinema on one weekday were P. 90 adults, 10 students, 30 child. Q. 45 students. R. 25 adults, 15 child. S. 10 adults, 11 child. Now, first part of this question is given L equals to the matrix, it's a row matrix 1, 1, 1, 1. Construct matrix M, it should be in bold, so let me write like this now, of the number of tickets sold such that matrix LM can be found. That's first part. Second, find the matrix product L times M. Three, state what information is represented by matrix LM, right? So this should be bold. Okay, matrix LM. An adult ticket costs $5, a student ticket costs $4, and child ticket costs $3. Construct a matrix N of the ticket cost such that the matrix product LMN can be found and state what information is represented by the matrix product LMN. Well, that's a very beautiful question. Uh, basically, this question relies on the concept of multiplication of matrix, right? That's the key on uh, solving this question. So, let's try to understand. There are four cinemas who are selling tickets and the cost of tickets is also known to us. We are interested in product of two matrix. Okay. So, part A is given L is a row matrix. So, this basically is 1 times 4, correct? So one row with four columns. Construct M. So M has to be four times something so that you could do L times M. That is key, right? So that is how we kind of understand now, right? So it says number of tickets sold such that this. So number of tickets are being sold to whom? Adults, students and children, right? So these tickets are being sold to these three. And we are saying four by what three right so three categories of tickets and this four can represent the the cinemas right p q r and s that makes sense so given l as one 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 construct matrix m of the number of tickets sold such that the matrix product can be found okay we'll just do it part b is find the matrix products we'll do one and two together right okay so, so L is given to us. So we say L is 1, 1, 1, 1. That is L for us, right? Now, as far as M is concerned, M has to be 4 by 3, right? So let's write down here 4 by 3 matrix. So the four things which we are interested in is these cinema halls, correct? And three things are the tickets sold for adults, students, and children. So we'll just copy this table as such. So think like this. Think like this. So, uh, okay. So this is PQRS for us, right? PQRS. And on this side, we'll go for adults, students, and children. Is it okay? And we'll just substitute the values in. So that is... Not a part of solution, but just a part of explanation. So we get 90, 10, 30 here. So we get 90, 10, and 30. So those are the number of tickets sold by cinema P. Q sells only to students. So, so under students, we'll get 45. 
and zero for these are adults and children so zero for students right and 25 for adults and 15 for children the last one is 10 adults and 100 children so again it is zero here and 100 there correct so that is how we are going to make our matrix and this is what we are saying is lm right so we got lm here okay so this is what we have as matrix lm okay now that is part one now find the matrix product lm so product will be all this will be multiplied by in a sequence so when you multiply this what is the result so let's look into this what we have is one time four right that one by four is one matrix times four by three correct so the result is this so when you product when you do the product of this basically the result will be one by three do you see that so we get just one row so this is equal to one row and it has got one by three really means that this row is going to be multiplied with the first column to get you the first position right so basically we are looking for we are now looking for these three positions here right so these three positions here so one row one column two column three column and each will give us some of this so it gives you total adult tickets total uh, students and total children tickets in a uh, in this particular matrix as a product is that clear right so let's add them all and then write it down so when you add them you get what so we get 5 here and 10 and 2 12 125 in this case 45 plus 10 55 correct and in this case when you add you get 145 correct so that is your answer is that clear so that is l times m right state what information is represented by this particular uh, uh, matrix lm right so in this case total number of each types of tickets sold by the four cinemas right that is the information so we can now write down our answer as uh, it states total number of each types of tickets sold by the cinemas collectively all right together or collectively right so so when you add the number of tickets sold by each cinema you know 125 tickets were sold for adults 55 for students and 145 for children that's what it gives okay four an adult ticket costs five dollars student tickets cost four dollars and the child ticket costs three dollars construct a matrix n of the ticket cost such that the matrix lmn can be found and state what information is represented by the matrix lmn so we don't really have to multiply this but we need to understand what type of matrix should it be now we know that lm basically is what is one time three right now if i have to have these three rates here and if i have to multiply with something it has to be three times so three is kind of key for us correct so we have three rows right and we have one rate so that will be three times one correct and the product will be what so when you multiply this when you multiply this what you get is one by one so the so the l m n will be one by one do you do you get the idea right that's what it is so so we need to design this n how will that look like so n is three times one so let's design it now i think it's clear so let's design this matrix which is n for us is it okay 
So n will be, let me just write here, okay, this is a small space. So we wrote three rows and one column, that's it. And the rates will get into this, which are 5, 4, and 3. Correct? So that is our matrix N. Is that clear? And what does it give you? When you multiply all the th things, you get total revenue, right? So you get the amount received from all these cinemas, right? That's what you get. You can say total income, total revenue, right? So let me write here total revenue. Or you can say income, right? Money received, whatever. But it is the amount received from all, all the four cinemas combined together on that particular weekday, right? So everything is happening on a particular weekday. So all this is on a weekday, on a particular weekday. And that is revenue received. R E C E I V E D received. So that is given by L M N. Is it okay? So that is how we are going to answer this. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Share your questions with me. Thank you and all the best.